Walk us through, when we're watching that, it's fascinating, but, but walk us through exactly what you're doing. When okay, you... so in this case, because she had a crooked nose, especially down at the base, we start with what we call septoplasty, straightening the inside of the nose. And Dr. Chopra showed you those pieces we pulled out. And, and the saying is, form follows function. You have to start with the functional part of the nose. Everything done in the inside, we're making incisions, we're removing excess tissue in the septum that's causing deflections inside, affecting your breathing, right? Mm -hmm. and, and from below, she was quite crooked in here, and, uh, and that part is gone. So the first step was correcting the septum, and then once we did that, we went into the cosmetic part of the nose, the so-called rhinoplasty. And we have another animation here. In this case, they made an external incision. That's called open rhinoplasty. This case, we did not make an external incision of any kind, so this is called closed rhinoplasty. First maneuver, you see us elevating the skin from the underlying bone and cartilage. How do you reduce that bump? We take down the cartilage. It sits in the middle third of the nose. We rasp the bone. At that point, the bridge is too wide, so we then have to go in and realign the nasal bones, perform osteotomies to narrow the nasal bones. You see us doing a little refinement of the tip cartilage as well, just to soften the fullness that she had. And uh, finally, she had that plunging tip, a little tip, especially when she smiled, that dipped down. So we, we strutted that. And uh, I think we actually even had some B-roll during the surgery itself. Yeah. And, and walk us through what we're looking at here, because we couldn't fully understand. So right here, we're injecting the nose, so there's no bleeding. Right now, we're taking out some of her crooked septum, which is causing her to have poor breathing problems. Part of that's bone, and part of that is the cartilage. But once we take it out, then we sort of narrow her nose here to give her a re more refined, sophisticated nose, but one that really fits her face. And here, everyone sees this, we're breaking the bone. Yeah. We had a few squeamish faces well, we do in the audience there. <laughs> exactly. Including <laughs> mine. <laughs> well, you want to know who was the most squeamish? Your sisters. Oh, well, and yeah. You know what? I think it's time we get the sisters up here. Come on up. And this was part of the deal, but their mom, I guess, was born with a smaller nose, and dad had a little bigger, bigger nose, so some of the sisters had more of mom's nose, and some of the sisters had more of dad's nose, and so there they are. And then we're missing seven of your sisters, right? Yes. We are. Everyone's happy with their appearance and their nose, but you were the one who just, yeah. just didn't. But now, how do you feel? I feel great. I'm very happy. And, and, and you, you will get happy for her. It, That's it the key. It looks beautiful. She Every, was beautiful before, and she's even more beautiful now. You all have a great, great attitude. I think there could be a reality show. Here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. But everyone's happier. Thank you so very much. Great job, Dr. Orton, Dr. Chopra.